changing we're changing it up today we're gonna do a get ready with me because i'm not gonna have time to vlog at all today and i have about 25 minutes till i have to leave the house so basically i still have to do my makeup get dressed do my hair all in 25 minutes can i do it probably not we're just gonna do the makeup part of this with minutes because like i'm the dumb bitch who's like instead of like getting dressed when i get out of the shower i put like my pajamas back on and then i'll get dressed like a half an hour later but we're gonna do a get ready with me because again i'm not gonna be able to vlog it all today because like i have a life unfortunately <laughs> unfortunately but so we're gonna chat because like i've been everyone in the comments i feel like this has been my life on youtube for basically the longest time ever is in the comments people like fucking blow up for the clickbait and they get like some people get really heavily invested in the fact that i do clickbait like they get really pissed the fuck off and they almost like make it their life's mission to make sure that i know that they're pissed off that i do clickbait okay and i'm like one why are you so like obsessed with whether or not some random person who you literally don't know on the internet whether or not they do clickbait i don't know why you're so obsessed with some random person on the internet and what they do on the internet two if you hate someone on youtube and you click on their videos you give their videos views you comment on their videos you are basically just giving the person who you hate more attention therefore making the person who you hate more popular it doesn't make sense to me and I want to put it in this way. It's like, let's say you go to the store, you buy, I don't know, a bottle of shampoo, for example, okay? And so you buy that bottle of shampoo and you're like, oh my god, I fucking hate this shampoo. It made my hair feel dry. It didn't make my hair feel clean, blah, 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 blah. You get what I'm saying. But because you hate that bottle of shampoo so much, you stated, that you go out this lighting is gonna be really bad you hate that bottle of shampoo so much that you'll go out and buy another bottle of that shampoo just to let the company know that you hate that bottle of shampoo that much that doesn't make sense if you hate something why would you purposely go buy it again and give that company more money just to let them know that you don't like their product that's the same thing you do when you basically go on youtube and you hate someone and you go click on their video just to let them know that you hate them and that they suck you're just making them more popular and giving them more money and more views and more publicity and to this day i will never understand it my example will be um let me think of a youtuber who i hate um i can't think of one okay here's an example it's not a youtuber but it's someone everyone in the world knows taylor swift okay she sounds like she has a dick in her mouth when she sings. Like, she's a terrible singer. She looks like a rap, blah, 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 blah. Okay? So, if I'm in the radio, or in the car, listening to the radio, and I'm fucking, like, bopping out to, I don't know, some fucking chain smoker song. And then, the next song that happens to come on this radio station is, you guessed it, a Taylor Swift song. What would be the most logical thing that you think I would do? Yes, I'm the gross bitch who uses my fingers when I do my makeup. The most logical thing you'd think I would probably do is turn the radio station off because, one, I don't like Taylor Swift. Two, I don't want to hear her fucking voice fucking piercing through my eardrums and, like, giving me a royally fucked headache. And three, I just don't want to give her airplay because if I give her airplay, that means she's going to be on the radio more and she's going to make more money. Why would I want to do that for someone I hate? You know what I mean? So... I just don't. Or let's say I'm on the internet. I'm chilling on YouTube. I'm like scrolling through the homepage. Oh my god. Yes, what? Well, Taylor Swift just uploaded a new music video. One. I have two options. I can... This, keeping in mind that I hate Taylor Swift. I can click on the video. Give her more views. Comment on the video. Therefore making the video more popular. Along with the fact that I already viewed it. And just basically making someone who I hate more popular. Who I hope would burn in a hole and die already. No, I'm going to do the logical thing. See the video, just scroll it, be like, okay, cool, she's a bitch, she uploaded a new, new music video. Continue scrolling. Shoot. And then just go on to watch some fucking, like, Shane Dawson video. You know what I mean? Okay. So the moral of the story is, why would you click on the video of someone you hate if you don't want 
them to get more publicity. You're literally just making them more famous and more popular. So that's the one thing I don't get when people come on my videos literally to hate watch. It doesn't make sense. You literally are just making me more popular. And then they get all pissed off that I clickbait. If you can tell me one YouTuber who has never clickbaited in their career, then I will shut the fuck up. And I mean like a YouTuber, not like some fucking YouTuber has like five subscribers. I mean like a YouTuber like fucking Colleen Ballinger who probably has like fucking 10 million subscribers. Like literally everyone and their mom does it. And then people get pissed the fuck off. And I'm like, if I want, where is my eyeliner? To make a video titled, Sucking My Own Vagina Hole While I Have a Dick Shoved Up My Asshole. And it's literally just a vlog me of me telling you how I played Pokemon Go that day. I will do so. <laughs> like, I will make a video titled, Sucking My Own Vagina Hole With a Dick Shoved Up My Asshole. While I just make a vlog while I Pokemon Go. Look how dead my eyeliner is. Um, so yeah. The moral of the story is people need to get the fuck over themselves. That's the moral of any story in this. Okay, so that was part one of Daniela's Get Ready With Me. It's Friday. Gonna go get drunk. Gonna go get crunk later. And I probably will just be watching Netflix, but like that's totally fine. I totally approve. I literally only have a Netflix trial because I'm like, I never had Netflix. I'm like, I'm always like thinking, oh, Netflix is so cool. I just never bothered around bother to go get it i got a 30-day trial of netflix and i'm like netflix literally sucks balls like i don't get why everyone is so hyped on netflix and that it's like so amazing when most of the content or like videos and shows that are uploaded onto netflix literally suck dick and also i find it so funny is that people think i have these random ass fetishes because i'll be like uploading a video like Oh my god, sucking my vagina hole. <laughs> That's gonna be the- Yes, I used my own spit. That's gonna be the clickbait title that we're gonna use throughout this video. Sucking my own vagina hole while I have a dick shoved up my ass. Someone be like, oh my god, but you have a fetish for that. <laughs> but like, I literally like, over the years I have learned, I've been on YouTube with, on a whole bunch of different channels for what, like, I don't know, 10 years or something, give or take. I gotta twist my fucking eyebrows, what am I doing? I've learned what people click on, what people don't click on. And a lot of times, it was just like, I remember the first thing. No, I don't have a burping fetish, we're getting that out of the way. I was in, like, high school, I was, like, 17, and I just, like, really, like, was disgusting and, like, burped in a video by mistake. And I'm like, haha, that's, like, so gross, I'm a gross ass bitch. So, like, I made the title, like, Gross Burping or Gross Burps or something, and the video somehow got, like, thousands of views. And I'm like, why the fuck am is me, like, making a video where I disgustingly, like, mistakenly burped and just, like, put it in the title just because I thought I was, it was funny because I was a gross-ass bitch, and I still am, um, getting all these views. And then I think I tr did it again one other time, like, months later because I was still, like, a gross-ass bitch, and again the video got, like, hella views. So I'm like, if you were burping in a title, it all of a sudden like gets all these views, like why the hell not take advantage of that? So I do it and then people get pissed at you. And then you have those other people, you motherfuckers, you assholes, you know who you are. Terrible human beings who actually enjoy my videos. Cause for whatever reason, you guys are fucked up in the head that you actually enjoy my videos to this day. Still don't get it. Love you, but you're a little fucked in the head that you enjoy my videos. <sighs> I had to blow my nose. Well, still to this day, never understand why someone would enjoy watching my videos. Where is my serum? I don't fucking know. I have two of them. I found it. Okay. So, and you guys, like, are amazing. And, like, people, like, actually genuinely watch my videos. And I would like to think... <coughs> Yes, I do some clickbait titles, and that wasn't, like, a sarcastic thing. I actually have to clear out my throat. Um, but aside from, like, some clickbait titles, like, I'm a fairly real person. Like, I'm literally, like, a gross-ass, disgusting bitch who is living life. And I would say that's generally the vibe that I give off of my channels, or in my channel, a gross-ass bitch who, like, is just a gross-ass bitch living her life. I literally do my makeup so out of order like I'll go do my eyes and then like I'll do my lips or something then I'll do my eyebrows and then I'll do my face and then I'll go back to my eyes it doesn't ever make sense um but 
Yeah, like, you motherfuckers, you're a little fucking head, but we love you. Still love you. And then you get that, like, random-ass person who is like, Oh my god, you made a video titled, Sucking My Own Vagina- Wait, what was it? Sucking My Vagina Hole? Was added? I already forgot the title of my own video. You made a video titled, Sucking My Own Vagina Hole, but you didn't suck your own vagina hole in the video. Oh my god, you're such a bitch. I hope you fall in a hole and die and you go burn in a fucking furnace and I hope you just, like, die and die because you don't deserve to live because you're such a fucking bitch and a cunt and you're fat and you're ugly and you sound your voice sounds like you're sucking a dick and your voice is so annoying and I just hate you because I'm so more preoccupied with some person who I hate rather than things that are actually important in my life okay let me give you three tips for life one if you're in school why don't you fucking focus on your own, like, schooling and, like, getting a good fucking education so you can maybe one day, hopefully, probably not gonna happen based on, uh, I can tell from your comments, be a productive member of society. Two, if you're out of school, you graduated high school, you didn't go to college, why don't, you don't have a college degree, so why don't you go get a fucking job at McDonald's because that's all you're worth. Or three, you graduated college you have a degree but like why don't you one go get a fucking job two if you have a job why don't you fucking pay a little bit more attention to your job and like fucking focus on that shit and make money and make bank and live life three if you already do that but you're still watching my videos why don't you go get a girlfriend if you have a girlfriend why don't you go pay attention to your girlfriend pay attention to your wife pay attention to your children because i get a lot of like 50 year old men talking shit about me and they're like, you're such a fucking bitch, you're such a cunt, I hope you die. But meanwhile, they're like some older, older men who have like literally granddaughters. And I'm like, would you want a guy telling that to your like three-year-old granddaughter? No, so why don't you like take a fucking, your own advice and do like be a fucking good example for your grandchildren or your daughters or your sons? Okay, I literally gotta go because I gotta go in like 15 minutes, so... Um, yeah. I literally gotta finish up this eye and I'm literally gonna have a half a face of makeup because I still gotta get dressed. Well, just getting dressed will take a minute. Doing my hair is literally just gonna be throwing my hair up in a ponytail for today because I don't have time to do anything else to my hair. But yeah, just lead by example. If you hate someone, this is the giant moral of this entire get ready with me. I'm gonna do get ready with me's more often because I love to rant. I can literally do it forever. If you hate someone, don't make them more popular. A wise man told me that holding a grudge is like letting somebody live in your mind for rent free. And that's basically what it is. Like you're holding a grudge and basically your comments aren't going to make me cry myself to sleep tonight or hurt me. Like I've literally heard every comment I could. Um, so basically, you're so preoccupied with someone that you hate, and I almost kind of take that as a compliment that you hate me so much, that guess what, bitch, you're letting me live in your fucking mind rent-free and raise your own blood pressure and make you annoyed while I literally just sit back here and relax and get more popular off of your own fucking stupidity, and yeah. I literally got to watch to get ready, so I'm going to go.